Hello, my pre-K friends. Welcome to this week's Read Aloud. We are going to continue to read Never Let a Unicorn Meet a Reindeer. My name is Ms. Chavarria, and today we are going to finish our book that we started on Monday, okay? So let's begin. Never Let a Unicorn Meet a Reindeer. This book was written and illustrated by Diane Albert. If you remember last time we read the book, we knew about a little girl who was celebrating her birthday and she wrote a letter to Santa Claus wishing for one of her for one of his reindeers to come, right? So let's see. Oh, and Santa replied on a, on a letter and said, oh, "Oh, I'll I'll let you borrow my reindeer, but make sure she doesn't need any unicorns." Because did they get along? No. <gasps> Look at their faces. The competition began. They wanted to see who had the most creative horns, who could fly better, who could catch the donuts, the most donuts. And we stopped right in this page where the little girl received a letter. So let's begin. I opened the door, but no one was there. It looked like it was another letter from Santa. Dear reindeer fan, we have a big problem and I'm hoping you can help. There is supposed to be a big storm coming in on Christmas Eve. And usually I have one of my reindeer light the way, but I don't think it will be enough to light for the dark clouds. Um. I'm really getting worried. If I don't come up with a solution soon, I won't be able to see where I'm going and all of the kids won't get presents. Do you have any idea? Sincerely, Santa. Oh no, we have to help Santa. There is only one week before Christmas. What can we do? Kiki remembered how Unicorn had made her crayon scribbles and sparkle so bright and how amazingly she could fly. Unicorn could help save Christmas. Kiki told Unicorn that she thought her sparkling scribbles could light the way and create a path for Santa. She hoped that Unicorn would come back to the North Pole with her. Unicorn loved the idea and the two of them quickly flew into the night. A week had passed and I couldn't wait to wake up on Christmas morning. To my surprise, Unicorn and Kiki were waiting for me by the tree. I couldn't believe it. They pointed to the amazing rainbow outside and told me all about their adventures and how they saved Christmas. It seems like the two truly became best friends after all. How cute. Look, they have the little two stuffed toys. I never found out why Santa didn't want his reindeer to meet a unicorn. Maybe it was because they were super competitive. Either way, now you know if you see a rainbow on Christmas morning, You'll know a unicorn met a reindeer. The end. What a lovely story. I enjoyed reading this story to you guys. It's one of my favorites right before Christmas. So for your assignment today, I want to see how creative you can get with a fun art project. So I did, who is this? This is Kiki from the book. Kiki the, rain, the reindeer. So I used my hands to make the antlers and I did a little circle for the face and some googly eyes, a nose and a smile. I want to see how you can create the character Kiki by using either colors or you can use um, any materials that you find. I also found a picture of a potato they use a potato as the head for the reindeer and they put a little red nose and the antlers. 
So you can get as creative as you want for this project. I want you guys to have fun and enjoy the holidays. And I will see you next time. I hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. See you later, friends. Bye.